Hi, good day. Today I'm going to show you how to restore the IMEI of a Blue Dash Junior K D141K using NCK dongle. So as you can see here, I have NCK dongle open. I'm going to use the CPU to um, to restore the IMEI. So we're going to select uh, MT6571 underscore NAND because that's the that's the type of chip that's inside the phone it's a NAND chip not the eMMC one all right so we're going to navigate over to the IMEI utilities tab select IMEI one and now I'm going to input the IMEI into the field so we can restore it to the phone give me a, give me a little bit while I type in this IMEI okay so i'm uh, going while the back of the phone is open i'm going to go to the folder here in the back which is the sp flash 2 folder and create a new file new txt file and i'm going to name this file imei 2txt i'm going to open that and type type in the second IMEI for the phone because the battery will be inside the phone so I won't be able to see the IMEI makes sense right all right hold on a bit I don't know if you can hear but it's raining in the background so I'm going to go back to NCK dongle here and uh, I'm going to repeat this IMEI to hit repair IMEI and remove the battery from the phone so the phone is off for what, five seconds replace the battery and connect the phone via USB it can take a little while to detect the phone sometimes so just be patient I'm going to connect the phone uh, hold on a little bit all right so it detected the phone so it should repair the IMEI now all right, the phone is connected all right here we go IMEI update complete all right so there it is it's showing you the baseband and the chip type and it's showing you the IMEI that uh, that has been repaired that has been restored so we're going to select the IMEI 2 go to the folder name IMEI 2.txt copy it go back to NCK dongle paste it into the IMEI field and hit repair IMEI Once we have done that, we wait for the phone to be detected. This can, as I've said before, this can take a while. So please be patient. Alright, so the phone is connected. I don't remember if I remove the battery this time again. Let's see what happens. Looks like I'm going to have to stop it and restart the process. I'm going to stop it and hit repair IMEI again and I'll remove the battery, put it back in and connect to the USB and wait for it to complete. All right, so the phone is connected. Let's wait for the okay here it is it's done IMEI 2 has been repaired 
it's showing you the base band version here and everything showing you that it was connected in meta mode you don't have to use meta mode some phones um, might you might have an issue updating the IMEI on meta mode so sometimes it's better to use the flash connection which will flash the IMEI to the phone the IMEI might not show up right away you may have to wipe the phone for it to show up right so uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope this really helped you to restore your blue dash junior k imei or your mt6571 nand imei thanks for watching